Charging an electric car could be a complicated and very confusing tangle of numbers and kilowatts and kilowatt hours and all these funny abbreviations, but in this video we're going to break it down and make it very simple and talk about the best ways to charge up your EV. So you just bought your brand new electric car or used electric car, you bring it home, you're ready to charge it up and where do you begin? Well, a good place to begin is the socket. Now here in the US we of course have 120 volt as your standard three prong outlet, so let's start there. That is the cheapest and easiest way to keep your car charged. Our friends over at Electron have made this video possible. They are one of the leading producers of home chargers and we're going to make this super simple. So starting with the most affordable charging option but also the slowest charging option, the level one charger. Now we rate charging speeds based on levels. Level one is the slowest, level three is the fastest. This is the level one system and this is what is going to plug into your 120 volt three prong outlet that you'll find at home or at an airport or at a school or pretty much anywhere around the US. You should be familiar, it's the same plug you use to charge up everything from toasters to phones and you get the idea. So let's go ahead and take a look at this most affordable option. Now this comes in at right around $200, but one of the big advantages of this system is that it's incredibly lightweight. Let's go ahead and open it up. As we unzip this traveling case, you can see how simple and lightweight and portable one of these level one chargers can be. So you open it up and basically you have a cord with a very simple box on one end, a three prong outlet, a decent amount of wire, and then your plug on the other side. Let's see how it works. All right, here we go. So moment of truth, plugging into a standard wall plug. You can see we get power. Now we're gonna plug in the car and it'll say we're connected and then charging. So for the vast majority of cars sold here in the US, this plug is gonna be standard across the board. This is called the J1772 connector. The only manufacturer, by the way, that doesn't use this connector here in the US is, of course, Tesla. They're a whole other can of worms, but you can, of course, buy a really affordable adapter to use any of the chargers we're talking about today. But this should just be a matter of plugging this end into the car. We see a light, the car recognizes the charger, turns orange, begins to flash, and then off we go to the races. So the upside to level one charging is of course, it's very compact, it's very affordable, and there are three prong power outlets just about everywhere here in the US, super easy to find electricity. The downside is that it can take quite a long time to charge up using this method. So if we do a little bit of math, we can figure out how quickly this mini will charge. I promise it's just a tiny, tiny bit of math. So 120 volts, and then this charger is rated at 16 amps. If we do the multiplication, we find that this charger can put electricity into the car at a rate of about 1.9 kilowatts or 1,900 watts. Now, are you still with me? Just a little bit more math, I promise. This car has a battery capacity of about 32 kilowatt hours. So if we take 32, divide it by 1.9, we'll roughly figure out the charging time. Of course, there are some inefficiencies and it will be a little bit longer than that number, but 32 divided by 1.9, somewhere between like 16 and 17 hours to fully charge using your standard three prong outlet. So it is affordable, it's very portable, um, but it does take a long time. But I strongly recommend you pick up one of these guys because even though the car does come with one included, it's always great to have a backup if you're traveling, for example, to an airport or you're staying at a friend's house, you forget yours at home, it's great having another in the car or having one handy. This really can be a lifesaver. Even though it may take a couple of days to fully charge something like a Tesla with a big battery, having this with you at all times is very important. It can get you out of a jam. Now obviously I understand that waiting close to a full day to fully charge an EV is not an option for a lot of folks. People need their cars charged quicker in a lot of instances, but luckily there are ways to accomplish that using this 240 volt plug. Now this may not look quite as familiar to us US viewers as a standard three prong, but this is typically what your dryer plugs into and you can get these installed like we did here in our offices or in your garage. Installation depends, you know, it can be anywhere from 500 bucks to a couple thousand depending on where the electrician has to run the 240 volt plug from. However, there are a bunch of options to charge your car in less than um, a full day, in less than even 10 hours, in only a few hours you can use these to fully charge your car depending on your model. So let's dive into the world of level two charging. All right, so level two. 
and this is gonna be the most affordable 240 volt charger we're gonna check out today. And this is actually a portable type, which is pretty cool. So let's check out some of the numbers here. You'll notice 32 amps, so we jumped up from 16 to 32, and then of course, 240 volts. So if we multiply 240 by 32, we're near an eight kilowatts instead of like 1.9 that we saw on the other charger. Significantly quicker, this is gonna drop down our charge time from like 16 hours more to like four or five, which is pretty impressive. So let's go ahead and open this puppy up and see what it looks like. So obviously a much bigger, more chunky connector. You certainly don't want to get shocked by this puppy because that would uh, be uncomfortable and probably quite dangerous. But just like the 120 volts, you just plug it in and then it comes to life and we can start delivering energy to the car. So on the car end of things, the connector is exactly the same as it was with 120 volts. Nothing has changed there. It's gonna blink, it's gonna start flashing, meaning we're charging. It's just gonna charge much quicker now. So you can see the amps are increasing. You can also see we've got the voltage there and the kilowatt hours that have been delivered there, which is pretty cool. Now this unit is right around $340. It's also worth noting 208 volts because um, office space typically has a slightly lower voltage than residential. All these are really doing is delivering power to the car. The car is really what's doing the hard work and the hard charging. So um, this is delivering power to the car and then the car is actually using its onboard charger to deliver the energy into the battery. But as a colloquial term, we always call these the charger. So that was the entry level 240 volt charger that we're taking a look at today. Now let's step it up to something a little bit more premium. This one has an MSRP of about $400, so roughly $60 more than the last model, but it does have some nice features. Now the difference between this unit and the one we just looked at, they are both portable 240 volt chargers. What that means is that they're not hard mounted to the wall. Uh, this one does have a kind of sleeker profile. It also has a nicer screen and you can see rated at 40 amps and that is confirmed down here. The rated current 40 amps. So you could charge your car a little bit quicker using this method. That is of course if your onboard charger is quick enough because a lot of onboard chargers top out like right around eight kilowatts. Um, at least it's gonna depend on the car, but a great option as well. It doesn't have the carrying case, however it is a little quicker and it does look a little nicer. And finally, we come to the last charger. Now this is a wall mounted charger. So still level two, still 240 volts. However, this is a more permanent solution that is affixed to your wall. It's also a little bit more heavy duty. So let's go ahead and open it up and see what the hardware looks like. All right, so with the wall box, they give you this mount. It's going to screw into the wall, nice and secure. So this is a very permanent system to mounting your charger. It's gonna look nice and flush and it's going to be much more permanent than the other two solutions. All right, so we got the mounts on the wall. It's very, very simple. They give you little anchors and then the actual box is going to screw to the mount and all the hardware that you need is included. Once you have all of the included screws attached, just like that, I think we're good to start charging. All right, moment of truth. Let's go ahead and plug it in. Green line comes to life there. Push in on the button. And just like that, you can see we are off to the races. So this is also rated at 32 amps. So moment of truth, go ahead and plug in the car. And off we go to the races. So what are the advantages of having a hard mounted wall box like this particular Electron? Well, first of all, it is a much more durable setup. It's also less easy to steal. So if you're a business looking to install one of these puppies to allow customers to charge, this is a more permanent solution. No one can just unplug it and walk out off with it without having to unscrew it from the wall. It's also very durable. It's rated for super low temperatures it's up to like negative 40 all the way up to temps up to like 113 degrees. So it's a very durable, high quality unit. It also looks nice on the wall. You don't have something dangling down. Of course, so it isn't, perm uh, it isn't portable. You'd have to use one of the other ones if you wanted a more portable solution. 
So one important note is that every charger we've used today is J1772, which is the standard. However, Electron does sell this little conversion plug that you can use to charge up a Tesla using the J1772 standard. You can see it just plugs right on in. And now you can charge up your Tesla both at level one and level two. So what we have here are four great charging options depending on your needs at the most affordable end of the spectrum, but the slowest end of the spectrum, the level one charger. This is great for any vehicle to have in an emergency. You can plug it in pretty much anywhere and it's great just to have in your trunk in the portable charging case. Now as we move up to level two, these are great options for charging your car significantly quicker. Also very portable, the 32 amp option, the 40 amp option, both of these are quite high quality. They feel really robust. Now, of course, they are not permanent. You can bring them places. Um, for example, if you're going to a friend's house who happens to have a dryer plug you can plug into, these are gonna be a great option. But if you want the ultimate in hard mounted hardware, you gotta check out the wall box. This thing feels extremely well made. Uh, it mounts to your wall. Uh, you can just permanently leave it up there, never have to worry about it, never have to fuss with it. Um, and at $515, it is still relatively affordable in the world of EV chargers. So let me know what you think of the different charging options. I hope I've cleared up some water for you. They really aren't all that complicated when you get into it, and they are all going to get the job done regardless of your EV. Well, as always, this has been Tommy with the Fast Lane Car. Check out tflcar.com for the latest and greatest in new and used electric car reviews.